Hello! Today I want to show you what you can do if you have a Hacker F1 and an Android phone and of course you will need a little OTG adapter cable to connect them both together. I wrote a library so that you can use the Hacker F1 in your Android phone or tablet and yeah you can use it to receive and transmit on the Hacker F1 and I also wrote a little example application um, so that we can see how the library works and yeah we're gonna do that with the help of my car radio so we're just going to listen to some FM radio stations then record them and then retransmit the signal I opened up my application and as you can see it's not very fancy um, but the first thing we want to do is hit the open button to tell the Android system that we want to access this USB device and then it will ask uh, you to give it the permission to do that and we hit OK and then uh, the Hacker F1 is ready to use. We can uh, verify that by just hitting the info button and it will give you a little output just as uh, from the Hacker F2 uh, from Michael Osman give you the board ID and version number and so on. Okay, now we want to receive some uh, samples from an FM radio station and I found a pretty strong signal at 96.9. You can listen to it. So we tune our Hacker F to this frequency and then hit uh, receive. So we can see that it started receiving and we just let it uh, collect some samples. Try to remember the song so that you can uh, recognize it later. Okay, I think that should be enough. Stop that here. And now we want to find a free frequency to reply our signal. I already found one at 92.7. There we are, just noise. So we type 92.7 into this tool and then hit TX. And you can hear to some music. The tool will automatically stop if the file ends, so we can just let it go for a little more and we will see it stops and now it empties the buffer of the tool. There we are. Finished.